Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to explain to you the main important neural network that is perceptron neural network. This is, it comes under supervised learning model and it is one of the building block of artificial neural network and it is also one of the simplest neural network too. Okay, so let's get into this video. So, in this video, I will be explaining to you the architecture of perceptron neural network, the training algorithm and their flowchart. Okay. This perceptron neural network is mainly used for classifying the data into two classes. Okay. So, the coming to this architecture of this perceptron neural network, there are four main parameters. One is inputs, the second is weights and bias. Third one is net input function and fourth is activation function. So these are all the four main parameters which is which comprises of your perceptron neural network. First coming to the inputs. Inputs are nothing but the values, input values which are given to this perceptron neural network. Okay. So suppose in your application if you are having four inputs then there will be only four nodes. Okay. So based on the inputs you have to uh, give the nodes. Next is why weights, weights and bias. So weights and bias are the values between the inputs and your output function. So these are all the values. It will have, it will take the value between 0 and 1. Okay. So these are all the values between your inputs and your output function. The next is net, net input function. Net input function is calculated by multiplying the input values and the weight values okay so the formula will be x1 into w1 plus x2 into w2 plus x3 into w3 etc up to xm into wm plus 1 into b that will give you your net input function after calculating net input function you have to apply your activation function activation function will will help you to tell whether the neuron is going to fire or not so there are many activation functions available so in this perceptron neural network mr frank roselbert he used step neural step activation function so here after applying this activation function you will get the output this output value is compared with the target value so we as i have already told you this perceptron neural network is a supervised learning model where both the inputs and the target values will be given so the output values which you have received from this particular network is compared with the target values okay when you compare if there is any error occurs then again you have to train this network you have to change the weight values and again you have to do the same process so the same process will be iterated until there is no error in your network okay this is what your architecture of your perceptron neural network two types of perceptron one is single layer perceptron and multi-layer perceptron single layer perceptron is the perceptron the architecture we have seen there is only one layer okay and you can also have multi-layer perceptron this means that there will be two or more layers will be there and this will be used when you want to have a greater processing power okay so the output of perceptron network will be like this so we will call it as y input y input will be equal to x1 w1 plus x2 w2 plus x3 w3 plus etc up to xn wn plus 1 into b this is nothing but the y input y input how you are getting this y input x1 w1 x2 w2 x3 w3 x up to xm wm plus 1 into b that will be your y input after calculating y input you are going to apply the activation function f of f y input you are going to get y so what is this f of y input this is the activation step activation function so f of y input value will be 1 if the y input value is greater than than some threshold so you have to keep one threshold if that if the y input value is greater than the threshold then the output value will be 1 if the y input value is between minus theta and plus theta the value will be 0 and if it is less than minus threshold value then it is minus 1 okay this is what the activation function you have to use so when it is greater than threshold value you have to set as 1 if it is between minus theta to plus theta you have to set 0 if it is less than theta you have to give it as minus 1 so that is what your the output value 
so weight updation how do you update the weights it is based on the target value so you have to compare the the output value which you have received from the network with the target value if it is not equal then you have to update the weights so the new weights will be equal to old weights plus alpha into t into x alpha is a learning rate so this will help you to learn that the particular uh, train the network and it will be the value will be between 0 to 1 and t is a target value and x is the input value so this is what you have to do it for weight updation else if they are both are equal means then you have you can set the old weights to be the new weights that means that there is no change in weights so you can take that as the final output okay now we will see the uh, flow chart for this perceptron training algorithm so first is start now we are going to initialize weights and bias and you are going to set the learning rate that is nothing but alpha to be 0 to 1 and for each training input pair so you are going to activate the input units then you are going to calculate the net input that is y input that is nothing but x1 into uh, x1 into w1 plus x2 into w2 plus x3 into w3 etc up to xn into wn plus 1 into b so then you are going to after calculating this activation function you are going to apply this net input you are going to apply this activation function and you are going to get y and you are going to compare this y and t if this is equal if this equal means there is no change means then you are going to set the old weights to be the new weights and old bias value will be the new bias value if they are not equal then you are going to apply this formula old weights plus alpha into t into xi that will help you to find out new weights and old bias value plus alpha into t will help you to find out the new bias value okay so then you are going to if the weight changes means again you are going to proceed this step okay this is this step is going to be proceeded if not there is no inputs there is no further inputs then you are going to stop this algorithm okay this is a simple algorithm where you are going to first you are going to find out this uh, y input then you are going to find out this activation function then you are going to apply compare the y and t if they are not equal then you are going to use this particular formula okay it's just training algorithm so training algorithm we will write this training algorithm based on the flow chart the same what we have done in the flow chart we are going to write by step by step that's it so the step 0 is weight initialization step 1 is going to perform the step 2 to 5 step 2 is perform the step 3 to 4 and step 3 is that you are going to find out y input by using this formula we all know how to calculate this y input then you are going to apply this activation function and you are going to find the y value so we know the step activation function then we are going to do the weight and bias adjustment that is used by that is like if you are going to compare y and t you have not equal then you are going to update the weights by using this alpha into 2 into xi or otherwise you are going to have the same weights to the to be considered for your old weights that is new weights and new bias okay this is your training algorithm next coming to testing algorithm so there is always should be testing algorithm because after calculating your weights you have to check whether the weights you have received you have got it from the neural network is going to give you the proper output or not that is why we need the testing algorithm so for the testing algorithm step 0 will be the weights what you have received from the training algorithm will be considered as weights okay initial weights to be used here or taken from the training algorithm and then you are going to first for each training pair you are going to proceed this step 2 so step 2 is nothing but the same process you are going to apply this uh, the formula and you are finding this y input after finding y input you are going to find y so the y value what you are receiving it over here should match with the target value okay that is oh if it matches means then the weights and bias what you have received from the training algorithm is correct okay so you are going to check the the weights and bias by using only this testing algorithm so by using these two formulas you can check whether you have got the correct by weights values and bias values okay so in this video i have explained to you the architecture of perceptron neural network the flow chart training algorithm and testing algorithm i hope this video is very useful for you thank you for watching